Hello and welcome to another beginning Drupal tutorial. My name is Steve from ZweaverMultimedia.com. Today we're going to be talking about feed aggregators and how to bring in an RSS feed from another website into yours to display, give your users some more information that kind of updates automatically to provide some more user interaction on your website, if I can say. First we need to make sure that we have the admin menu module installed and that gives you this black bar up here. It's a lot more efficient so we just got to make sure we have that in there because you'd be lost without it. So we'll go to site building modules to actually enable the RSS module and it's down here under core optional and we're going to enable that aggregator module and hit save configuration on that. Alright, now that it's enabled, we can go to the RSS Publishing uh, link here under Content Management, just to give you a little settings thing. Uh, the number of items in each feed, you can set to 10, 30, I'm just going to keep it at 10. Feed content, titles plus teaser, you can have titles only or just full text. But I'll just leave it at the defaults because that's good enough for me. And to actually uh, add a feed, we're going to add a category first. And the category I'm thinking is healthy articles. And I'll give it a description here. Healthy stuff. Because the blog I want to add is kind of under the health related topic. Alright, now that we've done that, you can actually go ahead and add the feed. It's under content management, feed aggregator, add feed. Or we can just click on this tab up here, add feed. The title is actually Mercola News, because I'm going to be taking one from Mercola.com. So I'm going to click up here to his website, which these are the RSS icons you'll see on mostly every web page. Click on that, and we get this page. And in the top is the actual RSS URL um, we are looking for. So we're going to copy that and paste that into our URL box here good to go. You're going to have it update as much as you want. So I'm going to keep it at every 15 minutes right now. That's the default. Um, you can update, you know, less, more, however you want it. And I'm going to categorize it as a health article, so it'll be under that category. So the feed is now added, and we did a good job. And there's also more settings. Uh, Drupal can strip out uh, unwanted tags, which is what these are the only ones that are allowed in the feeds that come into your website. Um, and some other uh, settings we, you can look at. I just keep them all the same just to uh, make things easier. So we're going to go back to list, which is under feed aggregator content management. You can also get to it from content management feed aggregator list. It also got these handy tabs up here. And we'll see that we do have the Mercola newsfeed and the healthy articles uh, category here. We'll click on the health articles. Nothing's in there yet. Mercola news. Nothing's in there yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to update items so we can actually populate that Mercola news feed. So I'll click update the items. And here is the actual feed um, in kind of a page format. As you can see up here, it says Tutorial Aggregator Sources 6, which is the individual feed from the Mercola News uh, feed. And then we can click on Health Articles, and it says Aggregator Categories 3, and this is going to show everything that's in that health thing, which we only have the Mercola feed now, but it's kind of a page format thing. But um, there's other ways that you can show your feed. And I'm thinking the sidebar would be a cool place to put it. What do you think? I think so. So what do we do? We go to site building and blocks, because that's the way we do it. Okay. Now we go down here to disabled, and we can actually list them by category or by individual feed. I'm going to do it by individual feed, because I just want to see that Mercola one up there. And we're going to put it in the left sidebar from this drop down. You can actually move it around as per you like. I'll put it underneath our blog post because that was our last tutorial. And we'll see what happens. Save blocks. We should have a nice Mercola news feed on our sidebar. And there it is. And it actually goes to the site's content from your site. And if you click more, it'll take you to that aggregator sources page as well. 
uh, from where you clicked on the actual content management feed aggregator page. So yeah, lots of different options for the feed aggregator. You can uh, you know <clears throat> move it around wherever you wish. Have a whole page. Have it on the sidebar. Really neat thing. Remember to update it um, as often as you like. You can go in here and edit that feed and um, create a different update interval. You can actually um, update it as well from the cron up here in the uh, the fav account right here. I know there's some maintenance tasks, but um, we'll get into that in another tutorial about cron. Also, make sure under user management per permissions that you have per you have given your users permission to access your newsfeed. So underneath that permissions and aggregator module, access newsfeeds is enabled for both authenticated and anonymous users. And then we click save permissions. Now everything should be hunky dory. Your users are gonna be able to see news from all over the web. All right, thanks for watching my tutorial. Please stay tuned for another. Weaver Multimedia Tutorial.